guys. So it's Wednesday and I was a bad person and didn't vlog with Cody. Um, honestly, I just kept forgetting to take out the phone and also uh, because I'm weird about like vlogging in front of people. I still just don't know if I'm there yet with that. Um, I don't care about showing him. It's just I literally don't ever film in front of people like ever. So um, I just got home from work. I had Monday and Tuesday off. So Sunday afternoon, I went to Cody's, got to spend two whole days with him. It was amazing. And then I came back to town today to go to work. And now I'm home finally. I just went to the post office and got a couple of free samples. So I thought I would show you guys what I got. Um, I think I mentioned this before. I get free samples. Literally, I find free samples through Facebook. Like I'll be scrolling through Facebook or Instagram usually. And it will be like, try First Aid Beauty's new hydrating primer. And it says like, get your sample today. And I'll like click it. I just enter in my stuff and they're like, okay, we'll send it to you. So I don't even remember what I got. Um, this is the, oh, sweet. So I got a while back the First Aid Beauty hydrating primer which I haven't tried this yet because I'm worried where I have like an oily, I have like an oily T-zone. I'm worried about using this. Maybe I could use it on my cheeks, but I don't know if I really want to use this. But they sent me the matte primer. And it's also, it's a pores be gone matte primer with fig extract. So that's cool. This I would definitely put to use. And I've never really used like a matte primer before, so that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll use that tomorrow. I'm about to get into why I want to wear makeup tomorrow. Um, and then from Murad, they sent me a uh, sample of their AHA slash BHA exfoliating cleanser. And... It doesn't really say anything. It says apparently I like, quote unquote, like ordered it. Gave me like a return thing. That's funny. But um, yeah, so I got a couple new, um, so I got a few new samples to try out. Uh, I also got, did I show you guys I got this? I think I did. So whatever. I haven't tried that out yet. So updates. I'm pretty sure I have an apartment in the town that Cody lives in, which is awesome. And, um, it's literally a five minute walk to, from where he lives and also like the church I go to with him. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure it's mine. I, it, it's not like set in stone right now, so whatever, but that's pretty exciting. Um, and tomorrow afternoon I have a job interview at a brewing company slash, well, it's like, it's like a restaurant, basically like a bar. And then another restaurant slash bar brewing, whatever. Um, I think it's called like a bar and grill kind of thing. They want to interview me as well. And then I have a couple other people who have called me for interviews. So pretty much everyone wants to talk to me right now. And um, uh, I didn't think like anything was going to actually happen. Like for the past, since March started I would say but more so like when April was coming I was starting to get really stressed out because my lease ends June 1st in order to not have to pay May's rent I need to give them a notice like soon because I already paid them my last month's rent so you know if I hadn't told them till almost when my lease is done I would have ended up paying more money you know because it's not like I don't, whatever so I've been stressed out thinking like I'm not going to find a place before I would need to give this notice and then my le when my lease is up June 1st do I have to resign and be stuck here for another year? Do I ask them if I can do month to month? Do I whatever like I was just stressed out and then on top of that wondering well what am I if I do move to where Cody lives? Cody lives an hour away from me and like what do I do then? Do I stay at my job I have now? and just travel back and forth each day, which would suck, you know, driving an hour to and from every day. It's kind of what I used to do when I lived in the house of hell. It was like a 40 minute drive 
from work. So I had to like make that drive every day. So like, it's not something I'm not used to, but it like, you know, it does, you know, traveling that much in a day back and forth does a number on my car. I just had to replace the brakes. And if you guys watched my last vlog, I had to get new windshield wiper, like a, a whole, and it, it was like a $400 fix for my windshield wipers. So now I just feel like finally things are looking up in my direction. Like I've been waiting, like I, I'm dating someone who is a youth pastor. So he's very religious. He believes in God and like, um, you know, God's plan and like giving yourself to the Lord and all that. And me, like, until I had met him, I never really thought about it. I never really truly believed in it. And so I never really, um, I never, I never really just like thought to like try to believe in that stuff until I met him. Now that I am dating him and, you know, if he's going to be a part of my life, you know, I don't want it to be that I am against what he does. So like, I actually do devotionals through the Bible. I read the Bible. I go to church with him when I can. Uh, I try to get myself just like, try to teach myself about it. Try to learn more about it before I like say, yes, I'm a wholehearted, you know, Christian, religious, whatever. And so like, I remember when him and I first met and he talked about, you know, he kind of told me his life story and how it came to be that he is a youth pastor now. And he just kind of said that like, he just, when he, when he decides things, he like prays on it and like, just like ask God like for a sign. And I never really believed in that kind of stuff. I, you know, I was always the kind of person that, that like didn't really believe in the whole everything happens for a reason kind of thing. But when I think about my life, I just try to feel like there's a reason Cody came into my life. There is a reason, I don't know, like there is someone out there decided that he is what I needed in life because I never really had a good track record with guys. I never really had good relationships. I've never had a relationship last longer than a month. Uh, like Cody is my longest relationship I've ever had. We've only been officially dating for two and a half months. So it's for me, it's like, I've never really thought, I never really thought about it. And I kind of gave up on the whole idea. As you guys know, if you watch like old, old videos, I used to talk a lot about the fact that I always said that if I'm still single by the time I'm 30, I'm going to have a baby by myself. And like, because I had made that decision, I kind of like, it was just like, I don't like care if I get into a relationship or not. I met Cody, we met on Tinder. Um, and like him and I just always talk about how like, we just feel like there is a reason him and I came into each other's lives. And I just like, I've practiced praying a couple of times and one of the things I've prayed about to God is just like asking him like, I need a sign like if I am supposed to, like should it, whether or not I should move to where Cody lives or do all this and do all that. You know, I, I, I basically ask like for a sign of whether or not this is the right decision. And I think like getting these job, these interviews and being offered this apartment, I think it really is like a sign that this is the right path for me because, you know, it's scary for me to make this decision. I've already been talking for 10 minutes, but we all knew this was going to happen when we started this vlog. It's scary for me to think about moving to a town and I'm not moving to Cody's town necessarily for him. I mean, obviously I wouldn't have thought to move to his town before I met him. But it's also more so like with his work, I wouldn't ask him to come here. I wouldn't ask him to move where I live. Not to mention the fact that I don't really like my job anymore. The only reason why I moved into this apartment is for my job um, because I just wanted to be closer to my job. So I moved into this apartment that's only like a five, six minute drive from work. So I just like, for me, it was like, I'm not, I don't feel tied down here. And even if for instance, I moved to his town and we broke up for whatever reason, which I don't plan on breaking up with him. And he tells me he's not planning on breaking up with me. 
we're basically inseparable uh and we never truly argue we've maybe had like one major fight where like tears shed and all that uh but to me i just i i just think this is a sign that this is the right path for me and uh no i am not moving in with him if i move to his town um, there's a few reasons behind that. Number one, we haven't been dating that long. Uh, number two, um, he lives in a building that wouldn't allow me to move in there. Um, and then number three is basically just, uh, and this is something that like we go back and forth on because we both have different views and obviously he comes from a more religious background and I don't. He he is more of an old-fashioned man and so I don't know if we would live together before we got married uh, is the way I'll say that um, obviously I, I kind of think differently I kind of think we should um, but without like going into our own businesses and our own arguments that we have sometimes basically that's why I'm, I'm not moving in with him because people ask me like well why couldn't you because like we've only been dating two months but like people do that all the time my sister moved in with her boyfriend when they they were only dating for a couple months and they've been together for seven years my parents got married within six months of knowing each other they've been married for 35 years so it's just like you know things happen but for us it just isn't the right time for us right now so that is why like yes I'm trying to move to into his town or move closer to him um but I'm not moving in with him I would still have my own place so <clears throat> which is nice that I would have this place because it is within walking distance to him so we can walk to each other and I'm literally like a five minute walk to where he works too so if he's ever working I'm gonna go hang out with him I can do that so it's just if I were to get this place it it's like ideal for me that I would take it if this ends up being set in stone. But as of right now, I don't know and I don't want to jinx it. So I just got home from work. I really need to film an empties video because I'm doing a collab with a few people on our empties. Um, however, I just got home from work and I look kind of crappy. So I don't know if I should maybe shower and hope that my hair air dries enough that I could film and then slap on a little bit of makeup. Or I just, I don't know when else I could film it. I could film it tomorrow morning before work. I have to be at work at 8. But if I got up at 6, the sun should be out enough that I probably could film. Um, like today at 6 o'clock, that sun was shining bright. But um, I don't know. I do need to film it either today or tomorrow, though, at the latest. I think they're kind of waiting on me. So I'm going to... Um, I think I'm gonna take a shower and then kind of just lounge about a little bit. Um, maybe unpack my bag. I just came from Cody, so I have my bag of stuff and maybe clean a little. If I'm just gonna start moving, I really should think about like cleaning and decluttering and all that, so. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be or how many days into the week it's gonna be I kind of I don't know I kind of like this whole like week in my life kind of thing I used to say I would never do these because they end up being too long but you guys seem to like long vlogs especially when I'm just talking to you guys so I think we're gonna just gonna see how many days I feel like vlogging and stuff so but yeah I'll either check in with you guys in a little bit or I will talk to you guys tomorrow so I am packing up my package to send to Kristen uh, Kristen's here on YouTube. I always talk about her pretty much every video and I find it to be a little creepy at this point but uh, she's one of my good friends and she is having a baby very soon and so I wanted to send her just a little box of goodies for baby Ira who is coming I think like first or second week of May so I kind of feel like I need to send this out tomorrow so um i do have a couple i do have one book in the car that i picked up at dollar tree it's a dinosaur book um so it's not like something super special so i don't really care enough to go out in the car and grab it tonight i'm gonna put it in the box tomorrow um and then i also got her a card 
But I thought I would show you guys what I got her because by the time I edit and upload this vlog, pretty sure she will have already gotten this box. I'm hoping. But we'll see. If not, Kristen, um, maybe skip forward a little or... You know, maybe you don't care if it's a surprise or not. But I got her this book. It's called Goodnight Maine. So it's kind of like Goodnight Moon, but a Maine edition. And since I live in Maine, I thought that'd be really cool. Since, you know, a little piece of where I live. Found this at TJ Maxx. This is a baby's first squeeze teether. It's a little horse. Um, she's having a boy, by the way, named Ira. I picked up these pacifiers. I thought they were cute. Uh, this is another teaser, I think. Yeah, it's a teething mitten, and I thought that was cute um, and very handy as well. Uh, and then I saw these at Walmart, and I thought they were interesting, so I thought I would pick them up for her and she could try them out, maybe do a video on them. I don't know, no, but these are from Parents Choice, and they're pacifier wipes, and they are flavored, so it makes the pacifier flavored. But I think this is so, like, if you were to drop the pacifier maybe or maybe it really is to like i don't know i thought this was interesting so i thought i would pick those up um i picked her, her up some clothes since she already had a boy she kind of really doesn't need many clothes so i only picked her up a few things this i found on amazon and it says it's 5 a.m somewhere with a bottle and it goes with these pants i thought that was a cute outfit i believe i got this at tj maxx I thought that was really cute, the little dinosaur in the pocket right here. Um, and then I got her these bandana bibs, which I also thought were cute. So it's not a whole lot I'm sending her. I hope, you know, she still likes it. But she's already received a ton of stuff. And um, I know that, you know, she really, she even said she just did a baby shower video. And she said, like, you know, she really almost didn't want to do a baby shower because she's like I don't really need much you know just like formula and diapers and wipes so I thought I would just send her you know a little nice little package of just some things that she could have um and mainly I really like that I was able to find this book so yeah but that's what I got her hey guys so it's actually a couple days later it's now Friday it's almost four I just got out of work and um I realized last night like right before I went to bed I was like, oh man, I never talked to the vlog today. And then I was like, you know what, I'll just do it tomorrow. So um, I ended up signing a lease and paying a deposit on an apartment. So it's official. I'm going to be moving to the town where Cody lives in a couple of weeks. My lease starts May 1st and I am going to give my landlord the notice tonight and then my lease ends with them June 1st. So I just had to be out of there by then, uh, which is nice because that way I have the entire month of May to get out of there. And so, yeah. Um, but yeah, and I did have a job interview yesterday. I don't, I don't necessarily think the job is for me. So I don't know even if it got offered to me if I would take it. Um, I don't know. As much as like, like my mom is pretty pushy about being like, well, if you're going to be moving there, it's time to like, you want to put your name in everywhere. And well, the thing is, is that no matter what, I do have a job right now. So like, even if I don't get hired somewhere right away, I don't mind taking the drive. Like, yes, it's going to do a number on my car and stuff and, um, you know, gas and also summer's coming and traffic's going to be worse, but, uh, I'm just not necessarily worrying about that part right now like I don't you know whatever so anyway so um I've applied for a couple other places I do have another job interview Monday at noon with another restaurant um so yeah so now I'm gonna head to Walmart which I'm kind of nervous about because it is almost four and this is the time that like everyone's getting out of work so I don't know if Walmart's gonna be insane or not but I really need to grab some stuff because tomorrow after work, I'm going to Cody's. And when I go to his house, I'm going to be making uh, cheesecakes for Sunday. I need to go home. Well, I need to go to Walmart to get the stuff for that. I need to go home and um, pack 
I want to at least pack the things I know I need to take to make that stuff, like my muffin tins and muffin liners, and I definitely want to bring my hand mixer just because then I'm not trying to mix it by hand at his place um, and all of that. So I need to go to Walmart to get that stuff, but since it's four, I'm just like worried it's going to be busy, so I don't know if I should just wait. I don't go to work until 10 tomorrow. So then part of me is like, maybe I could just go to Walmart in the morning before I went to work and maybe it would be less busy. I don't know. I could just not be lazy and go right now. It's just that like, I just hate going when it's busy. Um, but I might go home first anyways to change real quick and make a list because that way I'm not trying to like shop off the top of my head. I sliced my fingers so badly today. It bled through two band-aids. Um, and then I changed it out and it seems to be fine. But I did get my Splendies package. If you guys don't know what Splendies is, I talk about them. I talked about them a couple of other times, but Splendies is an underwear subscription service. You get uh, three pairs of underwear every month for $16.99. I just canceled it just because of like me moving and quite frankly, like I don't have the money for any sort of service like that right now. So um, really I don't need underwear. I just wanted a few pairs of cuter underwear because like now I have a boyfriend. I don't necessarily want to always be wearing granny panties. No, I mean, but anyway, so let's see what I got in this month. Ooh, I'm at the post office and we all know I love it doing this here because I'm holding up underwear public, but I got this pair. It's like blue with flowers. Those are really pretty. Really like those. I got another thong. I got a thong. Oh, hold on, someone's coming out of the post office. Okay, I got another thong. I got a thong um, last month. This one is like a light lilac, like lace. That's really pretty as well. And then this looks like just a typical high waist kind of brief, like this maroon color. And that's pretty as well. So that's what I got for someone news this month. Usually what I would like to do is maybe when I go once I'm like moved and all that and I feel ready to go back onto a service like that, I would like to try out different underwear subscription services and kind of compare them in a video. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to leave now and go home. And so I'll go home, figure out what if I want to go to Walmart tonight or tomorrow. Um, maybe even shower. Maybe I'll shower first and then decide. And then I will, um, I don't know, do some work around the house, I guess. I do need to kind of, if I'm moving in a couple weeks or starting the moving process, I feel like I should really get on that. But you know me, and I'm going to put it off. But I might go home first, maybe take a little nap because I'm a little bit sleepy. Take a shower. If, even if I go to Walmart later tonight, it might be less busy. So I might just wait and do that just like right before the sun goes down or something. Hey guys. So it is like a week or so later probably. It's now Wednesday. I don't even remember the last time I actually talked to you guys on camera. But I've been at Cody's. I went down there Saturday night. And this is my first night back since then. Like I have not been in my apartment since... Saturday morning when I left for work. Um, I had Sunday and Monday off. I spent Easter with him. It was lovely. Uh, I probably, I'm going to put what little clips I had and like what little pictures I may have taken. Saturday night, I get to Cody's and I had to make like 40 cheesecakes for both his church and his mom's house because we were gonna have uh, Sunday um, lunch at his mom's. So I was making the cheesecakes and fun fact, the day before I had cut my thumb. It looks a lot better now, it's healed quite a bit, but I had cut my thumb open, um, sliced some tomatoes and he, I had taken off the bandaid cause it fell off, it was like falling off. So I took it off and then he didn't have any, so he's like, well, I'll just run to Rite Aid, which is across the street from his apartment, and grab you some, because they close in like half an hour. It's like 8.30. And so while he was there, while he ran over and grabbed some, I just jumped in the shower real quick. 
and when I get out, he was back and I can see out the bathroom window, window, the bathroom door, his kitchen table and on it is this stuffed rabbit. Uh, I will have inserted a picture somewhere, whether it's right here, whether it was before this. And he had gotten me a stuffed rabbit and a chocolate bunny. And it was just so sweet. And he was like, and I was like, what's that on the table? And he's like, oh, the Easter Bunny stopped by while you were gone. Anyways, it was very sweet. And then the next day, we went to church for Sunday service. Um, and we, uh, it was a really nice service. Like, it was, we got to watch, like, the egg hunt beforehand. And then, like, the actual service, like, as someone who never really went to church before, like, I went to church a little bit as a kid with my grandmother, and when I was really young, and we lived uh, in Lincoln, Maine, which is was forever ago, I would, we, le we moved when I was, like, five or six. Um, I went to Sunday school because my grandfather actually, like, it was his church, like, he created the church. And so we went... So, but the service at Cody's church was actually really, it was really kind of awesome and fun. Like everyone was so energetic and cheering and all that because like Easter, as you know, I, what? I don't even think that was English. Easter, as you guys know, is the day that Jesus rose from the dead. So it is, so everyone's like, yeah, he's like here, you know, kind of that kind of stuff. It just was like good energy, good vibe, like good, like, oh yeah. So it was actually a lot of fun. And then right after service, we actually kind of had to leave to go all the way to where his mom lives which is about 45 minutes from where Cody lives and make it in time to have Easter dinner with his family so I finally got to meet his dad his dad is so sweet and so nice um I really enjoyed meeting him and we got to have Easter dinner with everybody and then we just got to hang out for a little bit and his mom made me an Easter basket, which I thought was so sweet. It had some dish towels and a dish drying mat for the new apartment, as well as a dish cloth that Cody's grandmother knitted and uh, just a bunch of candy and stuff and a lotion. And it was just so sweet of her. Um, and then we went to his dad's play, which I would have posted some clips from it. Um, from the couple of times his dad performed in the play. Again, and on the shoulder, the chisel, there goes the drug addiction. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking, man, this is, I what am I going to tell my friends? And at that minute, that piece come over me that quick, and he says, you don't worry about your friends. Yes. You are going to be the light that your friends need. Amen. And a couple of years, maybe a couple of years might have went by, and I'm thinking, God, why don't I feel this soft spirit? I says, I look around, I says, and I see people weeping. I says, and I'm sitting there wondering, well, maybe I guess I don't have what I thought I had. And I was hunting, I was in my pickup. And God says, you told me you didn't want it no more. But my grandmother got sick and died church was going the other way and the only thing and I looked up and I said you'll never never see me cry again and I told my soul oh, what I said I did say that I said I want it back yeah. and at that instant that came over me and if someone would have come along and never thought someone better call BMHI this guy's gone nuts he, he can't even control himself so I drive up in the road I mean the tears just uncontrollably coming down my face and the blessings I didn't feel sad. I felt great. Well, I met one of my friends. He stopped and he says, you all right? I said, I've never been better. I said, you might not look it, but I've never been better. Mm. He said, you said going to church, didn't you? I said, yeah, I did. He said, could you do me a favor? I said, what's that? He said, could you pay for my daughter? She's going through a rough time right now. He said, I quit going to church and I can't cry. And I told him, I said, you can pray anytime you want. I said, the sinner's prayer, I said, this isn't something that you come down and the pastor's going to get in your ear. And you'll say, all right, now you say this, and you say this. When you get down here, all you're going to do is you're just going to raise your hands. When you raise your hands, you're giving praise to the Almighty King. 
and say, Lord, I've done wrong. Forgive me. Yes, You're saved. Amen. You're saved that well. Amen. It is so easy that us as humans have made it hard. There's some people here tonight that's going through something that think I've done it. God's turned their back on me and I can never come back. Well, God doesn't say one word in that book about Blaine, you've done wrong. Don't you ever come into that church again. I don't want to see you. In that book, he says, turn around and run back. I love you. I want you. Mm. God wants you tonight. It was really good play. And then afterwards, Cody and I went back to his place. And it was like past 11 by the time we got there. We were so exhausted. We got McDonald's when we went back. And just like sat on his couch watching an episode of Bob's Burgers. And then we just like went and passed out for the night and then monday we just had a lazy day and it was amazing we just literally laid in his bed practically all day you know not like that just like watching tv and just like enjoying each other's company and it was just very nice and then tuesday i had to work but i ended up going to work and then i just went back to cody's that night just because i wanted one more night with him and also i kind of want to start doing that off and on, like, I'm going to be in my apartment at least for the next two nights, but um, I just want to, like, because when I move to his town, unless I am able to get a job, which I haven't had much luck yet, m much luck with that yet, I'm going to be keeping my current job, and so I'm going to be driving from where he lives and where I'll be living to there. So I just want to start like kind of doing that as like practice to like see how I feel actually feel about that. Um, which obviously like I don't really have a choice because either I quit the job and then just am jobless or I keep the job, suffer through the drive for a little bit and then eventually get another job. So, but yeah, but now it's Wednesday and I got home a little bit ago. I went, I stayed a couple hours later than I usually would at work just to get some extra hours in and then me and a co-worker slash friend went to Dairy Queen for dinner um and so I got home about 10 of 7 I would say it's like I won't say it's like 7 30 by now um and I'm gonna jump in the shower because I'm cold like it's pretty cold in my apartment right now um I don't control my heat in this apartment my next apartment I do I have a thermometer in every single room actually so I can control the heat in each room which I think is awesome but um I'm going to jump in the shower because I just really want a hot shower right now. And then I think I might do like the um, facial hair removal cream. I might do it tomorrow. I just want to like take a really quick shower and then just go back to bed basically. And I've just been laying in bed watching YouTube. Um, and I might do that. I'm going to work on my devotions because I've been really slacking. I haven't done devotions or any of my Bible reading in like a couple of weeks now. So I really want to get back into it. Um... And then uh, these next two nights, one of my goals is to just start going through stuff, start like getting rid of stuff I don't want. So then that way, the packing part is just going to be easy because it's just like, okay, this is all the stuff I want. Let's just put in whatever I can put it in. And I would just kind of do like an update of the week uh, before I close this vlog because I know this vlog, I don't even know what's going to be in this vlog. It might be really boring, but... I, every time I say that, you guys say you like my vlog. So I am going to end the vlog here. So the next vlogs I plan to do will be the official moving vlogs, I believe. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll do one more vlog beforehand, more of a casual vlog. But uh, moving vlogs are coming because my lease for the new apartment starts May 1st. My lease here ends June 1st. And so the month of May is going to be pretty crazy between moving my birthday, and just everything else, I guess. Um, it's just going to be a crazy month. So, yeah, uh, expect a lot of vlogs. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to take my shower, edit this, maybe even upload it tonight. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling and how fast my internet wants to be tonight. But uh, if you like this video and you want to see more vlogs on my channel, then please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, you could just go ahead and click that little red thing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.